Hey everyone, back again with stage two of the trailer rebuild, repair, whatever you want to call it. Um, just a little recap in stage one. Um, we removed the cross members out of this, all but this first section. Um, there was three um, two inch two by two square tubing. I'm not sure what the wall thickness is on it, but it was really thin. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, you know, 14 gauge. Um, but it doesn't really matter. There was only three cross members in here, not including this front section. And we removed, I removed all three of them. Um, the owner wanted to put two by two by quarter inch thick angle iron to replace them and he wanted them to be 16 inches on center. So we removed three and we installed six. <clears throat> There'll be a total of seven of them in here once I remove this front section. And I also installed five of these vertical pieces on the, on the side railing on each side. And that's what we did in, in, in stage one. The owner brought this back this morning. We're going to remove this rotted out cross member, the C channel diagonal piece here, this diagonal C channel, and the actual 2x3 tongue that's on here. Um, I'm going to put the other cross member that I said that's going to go in here, and then we're going to build an A frame style tongue off the front of this. And it's going to be made out of 2x3. Rectangle tube, but 3 16 inch wall. So it's very, very heavy duty. Very, very heavy duty. I apologize. Um, very, very heavy in comparison to what's on here, but that's what we want. It's going to last. It's going to last longer than the rest of the trailer. It's the part that carries a lot of load with the exception of the axle, and it'll be nice and strong. So all that stuff's coming off, and that's what the plan is. Um, should be a pretty quick build, not a lot to the video, so I might all edit this all into uh, one video. <clears throat> Here's the material I'm using. Here's our 50 degree coupler. Right now I just got this laid in here so I can figure out how far I want it to stick inside of here. That sounds pretty nasty, but that's the truth. Um, I'm going to be cutting it across here and cutting it across here so that I can have a, a nice V joint where it's capped off at the end to keep any road salt or any issues like that. Um, on the end that's going to attach to the trailer, again I'm going to cap it off, make sure that the the trailer tongue is completely sealed up. I don't want any any road salt or anything like that getting inside of the, the trailer tongue. I want it completely sealed so we don't have any any rust issues that, that begin from inside the tubing. So that's the plan and I will talk to you guys
Okay, everyone. <coughs> As you saw, um, got the tongue cut off. You know, I got to do some touch up. You know, I got to clean up this mess right here. Um, same thing down there. Clean this up a little bit. Anywhere there's any gouging marks from the plasma cutter, I'm going to come back through and I'm going to um, weld those up if there's any and then grind it smooth so I got a nice clean surface to work from no cracks or anything like that and in the metal that I'm going to keep so anyway um, that's all removed a little bit of a pain in the ass because I was trying to salvage the metal I could have made that easier but I was trying to salvage as much of that C channel as possible because I could use it for something else I don't know what but I can so, um, that's pretty much it for now. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Hey everyone, back again and pretty much got this tacked in. This was a royal pain in the butt. My geometry is not good. <laughs> It is, it's right, but my geometry, as far as mathematics are concerned, is not very good. Um, trying to get all these angles and stuff dealt with. Um, this would have been so much easier if I was building this from scratch, but because I'm not, it was a little bit more difficult and a lot, a lot more time consuming to get this all lined up properly. Plus, it doesn't help that I don't have an extra set of hands in here. So trying to balance this, you know, what is this? Ends up being like 80, roughly 87 inches of two by three, three sixteenths wall tubing. You know, trying to balance that up here on this <clears throat> on this trailer and hold it all in place where it's not moving and get it all lined up was not easy. And yes, I know this is on upside down. <clears throat> I'm just using it to to make sure everything's all squared up, so it's not. It's just clamped on there that's com coming off because I've got to finish welding everything underneath it um, like I said everything's just tacked up at this okay, point back again um, this is all done wrapped up waiting for the customer to come pick it up got the coupler installed got the jack installed um, cut his wiring just zip tied on there I believe he's gonna change all the lights on this um, you can see here, welded it both sides, and it's actually welded across the bottom as well. Both sides are the same. Brought it here into this cross member, welded it to both sides. This is a bit sloppy here because I had to patch this, this um, cross member because my measurements were off as far as angles are concerned, but stronger than it was before. That little patch right there is double thick as far as the material used to be. Um, let me go to the other side. That spare tire is in the way. When it gets over here, it was cut at an angle, both uh, the 65 degree angle that it needed to be to made into the cross member here, and then cut it as an angle, and then, sorry I'm moving the camera all over the place, um, cut it at an angle there on the side, and then plated, and then completely sealed up on the end. So it's welded all the way across here on both sides across the top <clears throat> so very very strong the owner originally just wanted to tie it into this first cross member I didn't think that was going to be strong enough so I just went ahead and made a, an executive decision and brought it all the way to the second cross member into the outer frame rails where I knew it would be much much stronger so um, remove the tailgate so that he can get the floorboards in there. Um, the tailgate smashes, sandwiches the boards in. I'm not sure what he's going to want to do about this because this cross member here is pretty rusty. Um, I'm going to assume that at some point he's going to want me to replace that as well, but we'll see. So the tailgate's just sitting in here waiting for him. And the winch is just sitting in the box they took off of there. Um, but that's what he wanted me to do for now. That's stage two. Um, stage three will be to build some sort of a toolbox for the front that mounts the winch in there, um, gives them some storage and stuff for 
tow, tow hooks, or, um, tow chains, or tie downs, or whatever he's got. Plus, it'll keep the winch inside of a sealed sealed toolbox. So he said he wanted to draw something up, and then we'll get to that. Um, that might actually be stage three, because he's supposed to be bringing it back so I can change this axle out to a 3,500-pound rated axle. So one of those will be stage stage three of this trailer repair rebuild, and or they could both be stage three. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please check out my website if you haven't already, alvarezmetalworks.com. The link's down in the description. Um, also, um, if you're watching this on my website, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link's above. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> and if you guys wouldn't mind, go like my Facebook page. Um, Facebook backslash Alvarez Metalworks or the links on my homepage for my YouTube channel or at the top of my website. So um, if you're interested in the machines I used for this, again, Everlast iMig 200 and I used my Everlast Power Plasma 50 on this, on this build. So both great machines, highly recommend both of them. Check out Everlast. I'll put the link down in the description to where you can find the details on both those machines. So, thanks for watching, and talk to you guys later.